very, very concerned uh, with the Biden administration and the HHS's recent abrupt, sudden announcement that they are going to dramatically cut the number of monoclonal antibodies uh, that are going to be sent to the state of Florida. Just last week, on September 9th, President Joe Biden said that his administration would be increasing shipments of monoclonal antibodies in September by 50 percent. And yet, on September 13th, HHS announced that it was seizing control of the monoclonal antibody supply and that it would control distribution. And then on September 14th, the announcement was more than 50 percent of the monoclonal antibodies uh, that had been used in Florida uh, were going to be reduced. So this is a dramatic reduction. And I'd say it's doubly problematic because what, what Shane Strom and folks in Tampa General and these other hospital systems that have been doing this, they're not getting it from the state. Uh, they, they get it, it's drawn down from, it had been a Marisource Virgin, so they get that. Uh, and then when they need more, they request more, they do it. What the HHS and the Biden administration is now doing is they're saying that all of the reduced amount will go to the state and we're responsible not only for sourcing our sites, which we're happy to do, but any infusion center, any provider, any hospital will have to come through the state. And to just spring this on us starting next week, we're going to have to do that. There's going to be a huge disruption and patients are going to suffer as a result of this. And so we're going to work like hell. Uh, to make sure that we can overcome the obstacles uh, that HHS and the Biden administration are putting uh, in, in us. They say they're, they're cutting it because of equity. Well, look, the South has had higher prevalence uh, this summer. That will shift. And then as more states and other parts of regions need it, we understand that. But part of the reason we've used a lot is because I have made it a priority in the state of Florida. It had not been a priority at the federal government level for months and months and months.